we should really never say good cholesterol and bad cholesterol because it's highly inaccurate and it only reflects a lack of understanding of what one is talking about, which is why it certainly would be a red flag if a doctor ever said that. What set of words trigger you more when you are asked which diet is best or what is good cholesterol and bad cholesterol? <laughs> God. I don't know. Those are, those are, those are, those are pretty upsetting questions. Let's start with the second. You made a YouTube video about this, but I do think it's an important subject because not only is there a misunderstanding of this with patients, but also the amount of doctors out there who I think still use good bad cholesterol. Do you just want to give a rundown why there is no such thing as good and bad cholesterol? Yeah. So the, the term originates from the differentiation between low density lipoprotein LDL and high density lipoprotein H HDL. So um, let's start with where there's a grain of truth here. So LDL or low density lipoprotein, which is not cholesterol. LDL is the carrier molecule. It's the low density lipoprotein. It's the boat or the submarine that carries cholesterol. LDLs are bad and HDLs, high density lipoproteins, are good. But HDL and LDL are not laboratory measurements. There's no such thing as an LDL or an HDL that you can check at a lab. You can measure the content of cholesterol within the LDL. That's called LDL-C. And similarly, you can measure the content of cholesterol within the HDL, that's called HDLC. So when you have a basic lipid panel and it says your HDL is 50, well, if you read the fine print, what it's actually saying is your HDL cholesterol concentration is 50 milligrams per deciliter. So don't say that your LDL is 120, say that your LDL cholesterol is 120 milligrams per deciliter. It's very important, I think, to be accurate in our nomenclature. So the reason that saying there's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol is nonsensical is because cholesterol is cholesterol is cholesterol. The same molecule of cholesterol inside the HDL is present inside the LDL. What's bad about the LDL is that the LDL traffics that cholesterol into the artery wall where it will get retained and oxidized and lead to the process of atherosclerosis, whereas the HDL will not do that. Um, that's the fundamental difference. So we should really never say good cholesterol and bad cholesterol because it's, it's highly inaccurate and it only reflects a lack of understanding of what one is talking about, which is why it's, um, it certainly would be a red flag if a doctor ever said that. Mm -hmm.